What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 15 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Blind Let's Play. We are in Route 5, and um, we are... We're gonna go towards the... Uh, we're gonna go towards this sign first. Many winding paths and ledges. So we see How is here, talking to... Some crooked-looking evil dude. Man, he lost again. Who's this? Are you even taking this seriously? I am. So seriously, seriously enjoying it. I love you, Hal. That's so great. Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, which clearly you haven't. <laughs> he is kind of scary. His sweater looks like someone took a sword and cut his stomach open. Look at this. As soon as you can see it again. Look at that. It looks like someone cut his stomach open. Even some Pokemon have a better sense of self-preservation. Gladion. Gladion. I battle for my partner, Null, to make it strong. Though most of the time gets used doing small jo oh man. So Gladion works for Gladion works for Team Skull. Battle me, I won't take no for an answer. You know what? Nobody takes no for an answer. Once you meet their eyes, an exclamation mark pops up over their head. No one takes no for an answer. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Gladian, let's see it. Oh, you've got a Zubat? Yeah, you're real tough, bro. Real tough. I like his outfit, kind of. No, I guess I don't. I guess I just like... I like the belt, I think. I think that's what I like the most. Boy, hit him with that bubble beam. Easy. Easy. Come on, little P, man. About to send in type null. Will you switch your Pokemon? What does that mean? What? What are you? Uh, Bubble Beam are probably the strongest, but I'm curious as to whether or not Disarming Voice will do anything. It did not. Tackle, standard, very standard. Let's hit him with that Bubble Beam. Type Null is just a an interesting name for a Pokemon. There, I said it. Let's see this. Bubble Beam is 65 power. Um, so, 65 uh, becomes 97.5. So actually, uh, I still think Acrobatics is stronger. Oh, but he's got crazy high defense. Wow. Nuts. Bubble Beam should finish him off. There we go. Type No. I don't even understand. He's like every type of Pokemon. Maybe that's the point. Everyone wants to learn Odor Sleuth. He's like shocked. How annoying. You feel like, you guys get the feeling that this kid like woke up like one day as a goth and just hating the fact that he's a blonde kid and like, why can't I have black hair? That kid there, his Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling, but this brat, he's just using it as an excuse to not try hard because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hala when he's serious. <laughs> How so cool. Oh yes, it's the cool grunts again. Oh, I don't know that I have a... I don't know that I have a voice for a female grunt. Let's think. 
No, I don't got one. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling in my resources here. I don't know. Oh, no, you know what? I got one. So who's talking right now? I can't even tell. Okay, so this is... Grunt A is the male. Huh? You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. They're good Pokemon. We came all this way and for what? For a big fat waste of time, thanks to you. If you had gotten our way, we would we could have stolen totem Pokemon from Brooklet Hill. Let's get out of here. Look, the Murkrow are crying. It is time you should be flying. <laughs> Yo, listen up, good Gladian. This boss does like you, that's true. But you're gonna get higher help. We keep around for when we need you. You aren't part of Team Skull, not really. You never will be, got it? You better get it. Mm, yeah, get him. <laughs> hmm. Thanks, Geo and Brion, too. It was a good battle. Yes, it was, Hal. Oh, boy. Giving me a couple revives. Ain't no fainting Pokemon over here. Next stop is another trial site, Brooklet Hill. What's a Brooklet anyway? Is it like a booklet? No, Rotom, it probably isn't. So if I keep going up here, I'll get to a Pokemon Center. But I gotta check this grass to see if there's new original Mon in it. <gasps> Fomantis. Ah, oh, look at this thing. He's so cute. He looks like he's grass type. But he's also kind of looks a little bit like a bug. Maybe he's bug grass? No. Well, either way, I don't. Lil P's strong and might kill it, and also Lil P's weak, and I don't want him to die. So let's see. Almost everyone on my team is kind of weakened, except uh, except Peck Peck, Trumbeak, Womp. Hit him with that Fury Cutter. Ooh, weak. Sad. Um. I'm gonna go with echoed voice just to keep it K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple. Stupid. If I do it again, I'll kill him. Excellent. This is the exact position I wanted to be in. Oh, he's calling for help. This is perfect, actually, because now echoed voice... No! No! <laughs> no one came to help him. Let's just throw a Pokeball. Pokeball only costs 100. We can kind of see what happens. Steady as she goes. Hmm. Looks like it's not gonna work. But he's not really doing a whole lot of damage. I I don't want to take him out. Um, I think Echoed Voice is probably the least amount of damage I could do to him. 40 power stab is 60 power from my weaker special attack, yeah. I think I just have to keep throwing Pokeballs, honestly. Three Pokeball attempts is one Great Ball. I don't think it's worth a Great Ball. The chance to capture is... Growth. Shoot. I, I mean, I could switch. I can't paralyze it. Oh, here we go. This is what, we, this is what I needed. Uh, I need him to actually succeed in getting help so that my uh, Echoed Voice, which is an AoE attack, will drop its power by half. Uh, that's something that happens if if you're using an, a spread move that affects more than one Pokemon in a multi battle, then its power is cut in half. So or I think it's half, maybe it's seventy five percent, something like that. Either way, it's not full power. But Echo Voice is still my weakest, and it'll probably kill for Mantis. So I, I can't do it right now. Uh, I could switch. Why not just switch to Gruff? No, I feel like Gruffers will take him out. Yeah, this isn't gonna work either. I just gotta keep throwing Pokeballs. I'm just gonna keep throwing Pokeballs, and um, if it takes a few, 
then I will cut I will cut to the chase. Got him that time. Ah, it's weird. I was right in this weird two-hit KO range, so everything didn't seem to work out, but... See Bad Skid up to level 17 and wants to learn Stomp? Of course you do. Uh, mud, spot, mud Sport is a terrible move. So yeah, let's get rid of that. Interesting that it was at 14 out of 15. So it must have tracked the PP usage from when I fought it in the wild. So, Fomantis has one evolution. It's number 143 in the Pokedex. And it's pure grass, sickle grass Pokemon. They give off sweet, refreshing scent. Cutifly often gather near the tall grass where the Fomantis are hiding. Very cool. Would I like to give it a nickname? Yeah, let's give it the nickname, um... I'm gonna nickname this one Nips. After uh, after my good buddy Nips, who I have battled on the channel, I think a good four times now. Maybe the most, the single most battled person on my channel. Him or Magnitude, I think. I think I've battled Magnitude five times. I think I've battled Nips four times on the channel. Uh, what do you want to send Nips to? I kind of want him in the party because I want to see what he evolves into, but... Um... Who can I who can I drop? All of these Pokemon are waiting to to evolve. Honestly, what level does Trumbeak evolve? I, I I can't look it up. That's the whole point of it being a blind playthrough. I really want to look it up, but I I, I can't. Um. For now, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just I'm gonna have to send him to the box. Snips, you'll you'll have to come out later. You have to come out later, buddy. Uh, so let's keep looking. Got a Pokemon battle here. Let's see if it's anything interesting. Paris. Grabbing some berries here. Some cherry berry. Uh, we've got a we've got a Pokemon Center here. So let's do a quick little exploration of this Pokemon Center. See if there's any side quests. Uh, please trade it for your Lillipup. I don't have a Lillipup anymore. I only have a Herdier at this point. Unfortunately. Yeah, what what did he say he was gonna trade for it? Bon sweet. Oh, that's a new Pokemon. I really want that. Uh, we got a quest here, side quest. Let's write this down. I'm looking for a situation. Uh, he wants me to catch a fee bass. Prevolution of Melodic. Uh, yes. Okay, so the side quest taken. Uh, Fisherman. He just gave me another dire hit. I don't really... These kids acting like the only thing that matters in the world is getting crits. So I'm going to have to catch another Lillipup, I guess, if I want to trade for that Bonsoir or whatever, whatever it's called. Let's keep moving, though. Gracefully. Like water. Or whatever. Got some battles here. I saw a, uh, a TM on the screen there, but um, we're going to have to get through these uh, school kids. Campers? What are they? Just lass? Rising Star Duo, Lauren and Justin. 
I got a Vullaby and a Rufflet. Uh, disarming voice and an echoed voice should finish them both off, I'm thinking. Disarming voice will be super effective against the Vullaby. But Vullaby's pretty bulky, so I think it is going to require a little extra damage. Oh, looks like it's not going to take either of them out. Oh, echoed voice is only single. Man, I'm really bad. Rufflet's power. So this should do it though. Vullaby will go down, Rufflet a little, little bit. I had the follow up to take out Vullaby just in case, but since Vullaby goes down, it'll automatically target the new target. So, schwack. Peace, Rufflet. Rufflet is really cute. Got ruffled feathers. I cannot wait for Peck Peck to evolve again. I want to see what it looks like. Oh my gosh! Combos are so difficult, but that's why they're fun. You said it, Rising Star Justin. Trainer tips. I don't know if the escape rope can get you out of cave in an instant. Uh, okay, let's have a look around here. So if I come back down here, this is the... This is the left fork that we took, right? But I guess we didn't go up before. And that's where the TM is. Got it. At the top of this, uh, grassy knoll. Grubbis. So we pick up Charge Beam here. Charge Beam is a is a great find. And we're gonna pull up a couple more battles in this grass here. Picky Peck. You know what the problem is with uh, the two evolutionary chain Pokemon as opposed to the three evolutionary chain Pokemon. The two evolutionary chain Pokemon stay pretty weak for quite a while and it's actually really frustrating because I would rather uh, I don't know I, I want to evolve them and move on and try it. There's so many Pokemon I want to try out. This Fromantis guy I want to see what he evolves into. And Crab Brawler? I want to play with Crab Brawler too. Uh, let's get on uh, Stout One's back. Get a little increased speed. Sniff for some items. Got a trainer battle over here. They're really. This is a really big area. There's actually a lot of Pokemon trainers here. Ooh, more lull. Oh, that is so cute. I wonder if that's fairy type. I'm gonna hit it with a water attack. See if it's grass. Sounds like it. Yeah, Mega Drain. So it is grass type. Very cute Pokemon. I, mean, I guess in theory it could be a water type, but it's super effective by uh, flying and yeah. So Lil P, um, I'm realizing the fact that it can learn acrobatics is really huge for water types to be able to take on grass types like that. That's huge. About to send in Lady Bye. Lady bruh. Lady, lady bruh. <laughs> Let's get him with an acrobatics. Hmm. 
Hmm. He knows what his strengths are. You know what I'm realizing? I've been clicking acrobatics a bunch here. Uh, I think I have an amulet coin equipped, so that's not 110 power anymore. But uh, I think it's time to pop a few repels here. Because we're going through we're going through a pretty big area. And we're having enough battles as is with all of these uh, trainers that we keep running into. So this is the area that we turned around last time. We can't get up there. We're going to have to come down from a northern region. And we can't get up there through that way. So we're going to have to go all the way around. It looks like this is the next step here. So we've done everything else. Uh, so, you know what? Maybe we just call this one a really short episode. Uh, we've finished Route 5. We can just organize it a little better. Yeah. We'll end this one here. Um, this will be a Route 5 episode. And the very next episode, we'll head up to that uh, Brooklet Path. And we'll see what's going on. We'll continue the trial that way. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Do tune in for the next one. We'll be uh, coming up real soon. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you guys next time.